Hey guys, it is Michelle again. Um, since we just finished the tutorial for the Baby Carousel album with the fabric cover, I wanted to show y'all another way to do the spine for the outside of your fabric cover. Um, the uh, If you remember on the Carousel album, we had the front back spine and then we fabriced over everything this one is a little different and this is actually the way that I do most of my albums um, of course you can see we have the front cover back cover and then I went ahead and did stitching around all four corners now this, my album's big, it's 11 by 12, and um, so our spine is also 12 inches tall. You need it the exact same height as your front and back cover, naturally. Now my album uh, spine, I want to use 3 and 3 quarters, which I know it's big, but I put big um, gussets in between each page because I like to put a lot of embellishments but whatever um, width that your spine is you need to add an inch on the front and an inch on the back for the tab so I will take my scoreboard and of course we have the top of the album here so I'm gonna go in one inch from the front and score it. That's a little bit, I'm just going to flip it over and make it easier on my life. Um, one inch. So this is the part that actually attach front cover, back cover. So what we need to do after we do our inch, then we need to go through and score every single line after that in order to get a real nice um, curve to it. Alright, and there now we have a really good curve. Now on this album um, I'm using this pretty purple fabric and you could tell it's not very thick um, depending on the fabric I'm using sometimes I just glue it to my um, little cardstock here if you didn't see my previous uh, album it's just a really thin cardstock or if you don't I actually think I've I got this one um, from, uh, it's a Cricut brand, and they call it chipboard, but it's really thin. If you don't have anything like this, you can use a cover of your paper collection. It's about the exact same type of thickness. Or even the back. A lot of them in the backs are pretty much the same. Yeah, it's the same type of thickness. Alright, as I was saying, my fabric's thin, and I'm going to use a um, batting on mine. But when you want to, um, as you're cutting out your fabric, you need it about the same width as your chipboard piece. And the length you want to be able to completely fold over and cover up the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> add some glue to the outside. Now I'm not putting this on our one inch tabs. You see the black, the line I used to cut it out. So we don't want it on our one inch tab. We just want it in the center for the width of our spine. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. And I'm going to cut 
little bit of the excess on the top. And the bottom. Alright. Now, the fabric itself will go over this tab. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on my entire piece here. start by folding over the top. We want it fairly snug. And mine I cut a little too long. I'm going to trim. It's okay if it overlaps. But I don't want it overlapping quite as much as it is right now. So I'm going to put some glue here. Where it can overlap. I got a little bit too much glue, but all right. I'm gonna go ahead and for the inside, I'm just gonna put some glue on our one inch flap. And you can see how thin my fabric is, but it's okay that the glue is coming through. Because we aren't going to see that piece. Now I'm going to put glue on my other side. Push that down together. A little bit more glue on this top corner here. enough. Now I'm going to trim off the ends a little bit. My fabric, um, I'm not I'm trying to think I'll say this, I'm not cutting the chipboard piece, but if can you see my chipboard piece and how much my fabric is like almost a whole inch past it. So I'm just going to trim it up. Uh, 
this before you put it on your album if you want to do any stitching to it um a lot of times i'll just put a straight stitch across the top so it'll match the stitching around the um front and back cover so just like an eighth of an inch from the edge a stitch and then also on the bottom so let me i'm actually doing some crisscross stitching on this one trying something a little different um so let me do that real quick and then i'll come back and we'll finish putting it together all right so i did i got a little crazy now i did some stitching on mine um of course these edges here your flaps are going to get glued it's not going to show and because of all of my stitching of course i have this mess on the back so i um cut another piece of my fabric and i already glued the top half i didn't want to take too long because try and get this done real quick because you're if you don't do stitching on yours of course you're not going to have the big mess that i have and need to cover it up but if you do decide to do stitching on yours then this is how it'll get fixed so I'm just taking the end and just to make it not whoopsie doopsie sorry um, not this rough end I'm just folding it over a little bit and I'm going to put some glue actually let's do it this way so I know the length that I need Go ahead and push it down. Probably should have ironed this first, but it's not really going to be seen very well. Once you put the inner spine on top of it, so I'm just trying to get the length that I want and fold it. So now let's take our front and back cover. I have mine marked. They're the same size. I just like the stitching, the way it turned out on one better than the other. So I'm putting the one that I didn't like so much, didn't come out as well on the back, and then the nice one on the front. So we flip them over and We will put glue on our tabs. Let me grab something real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot this. You need some clips. These are just regular office clips. And some scrap chipboard. That's the same length. At least the same length as your cover your album so I'm gonna fold mine over and I'm just gonna put glue on my flap right, let's try both hands All 
Alright, I'm going to start with my back piece. So I'm also going to put some glue right on the edge. Not a lot because we don't want it to ooze out. It's just some. Ooze out. That's a little too much right there. Alright. glue all over me. So we are going to flip it over. So the back of our spine is facing us. And bring the two pieces together. Bring mine over a little bit more. Check your top and your bottom. Alright, so what you want to do is hold it together. We're going to put a piece of chipboard on one side and then a cheap piece of chipboard on the other side. And what the chipboard is for is the, um, the little clips will leave an indention in your fabric. And we don't want that. So we just want to clip it. all through it and then hold it together while your glue grit dries. We shouldn't take maybe about five minutes but just make sure you have that chipboard on there because you don't want all these little marks on that fabric you just worked so hard putting on there. All right, we'll let this dry, and then we'll come back and do the second one. All right, I have mine taken apart, all glued together and ready to go, and we're just going to do the exact same thing for um, the other side. This is just one from a different, um, a spine from a different album. As you can tell, it didn't fit. But whenever <clears throat> you get your spine ready, and you'll see that, how to do that in the previous tutorial, what you'll do is your little flaps on the end, you will glue it one on each side down. And then when you finish, <clears throat> see if I can hold it up, you'll have the double spine, just like that. So if you have any questions for it, um, just leave me uh, something in the comments, and hopefully I will have this album done not too much longer. <laughs> 